Hey, what is up everyone? This is Joshua DD9000 speaking. Uh, as promised, I am playing the SNES version of uh, Thomas the Tank Engine. Uh, immediately when I started this game, or first started this game, I just thought, wow, I am way too old for this. But Thomas is still an important part of my childhood, so why not? And um, this game, it really isn't that interesting. Um, it's basically like a bunch of small mini games and puzzles, maybe a few races. But I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this one. So what we have to do is sort of solve this puzzle by pressing the arrows, which slide the uh, pictures from side to side. And um, uh, I think there's one more I have to get. I am using an emulator, um, too cheap to buy the original SNES, uh, so yeah, this way is much easier. Start That's a really creepy voice, I wonder why they say that, it says it like that, it just says, start Thomas. I believe what we're doing next is um, setting the switches. So basically the goal is to get Thomas all the way to that station. So pretty easy. Just click on these points. And Thomas is flashing. That's kind of the hint that you've already beaten it. And Sir Topham Hatt says very slowly, Well done, Thomas. You are a really useful engine. And yeah. Start, Thomas. Jigsaw puzzle. I never really done jigsaw puzzles that much as a kid, but uh, basically we just have to put all these pieces of gate together. So pretty straightforward, nothing mind bending at all. And you kind of the pieces kind of just slide into place all by themselves, so it's really not that challenging. more pieces load up after you get those few. It's sort of to make it a little easier, because if there are pieces like all over the place, children will most likely get confused. One more. Well done. That's great. Start Thomas. So this is where we challenge Birdie to a race. Now, um, I believe what you have to do is mash the buttons. What's going on here? Why isn't this thing working? Okay, so that made absolutely no sense at all. Um, I just kept pressing the button like I was instructed to do so, and nothing happened. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm playing this game wrong. But FYI, this is the first time I'm actually playing through the actual game, so yeah. But I think in this part we kind of have to create a track that leads all the way to that station. So the instructions say, go to the farm, then to the mill, and then to the station. So right here is the farm, I guess. Collect the corn from me first, Thomas. Okay. So... Oh 
Oh wow, okay, so this is actually challenging. Okay, so every time you click on the track, it... Oh, okay, I see. Alright, alright, okay, I see what it means. So you have to click on it multiple times in order to get the shape that you want. Excuse my allergies, by the way. What I need is a curve. So I believe I follow the directions correctly. I'm supposed to make a track that leads to the farm, the windmill, then the station. Please excuse my allergies, by the way. So here's the corn. Please take it to the mill. Okay. I've done that. Who's that guy? I don't know, it looks like he's dressed in a winter hat. But it's not even cold outside. At least it doesn't look like it's cold outside. But anyways, we got Thomas to the station. Alright. So we got another race. I have no idea how to do these races. Go. Why is this thing not working? Ah, oh, I have no idea what's going on. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's... Huh. Yeah, I really apologize. I really have no idea how to play this game. Yeah, this is really weird. This next game is called Let's Go With Thomas. I'm not sure what it means. Pick an adventure... Okay. So Thomas saves that. Let's do Thomas saves the day. So this is like Tom, the story of Thomas and the breakdown train. Okay. Okay, so this is kind of like the story. All right. So this is kind of like a reading book. So this is more of like a reading challenge, okay. And this is the part where James is rushing way too fast. Who's that? How do I answer the questions? Did I press the wrong button? Okay, that was really weird. What color is Thomas? That's an obvious one. Okay, so this is like a quiz.
Where is James? He's in the countryside. That's right, well done. Oh, okay, so what we were doing was sort of like the reading, like the storybook, and this is the actual quiz. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, um... Well, that's... I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, we've basically done all the games, so yeah, wow, okay. Um... Uh, final thoughts. Um... When I first started this, I had low expectations. Um... First of all, it's just an SNES game, so... Not that SNES games are boring, by no means, they're not boring, they're really fun. But, this is Thomas the Tank Engine, there really isn't too much that you can do with this particular medium. So, yeah. Um, the games were alright. I mean, except for the races though, I had no idea how those were supposed to work. But, um, yeah, I apologize if I wasn't able to do that. This is my first time, like, actually playing through the actual game. Uh, would I recommend this game? Uh, I recommend it for little kids who are bored. Other than that, you may want to find something that's a little more modern, I guess. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is JoshuaDD9000 signing off, saying goodbye, and as always, thank you for watching.